Capricorn, welcome to your Just In Time Tarot reading. If you're watching this, Cappy, I trust there is a message here for you. If you're a regular, welcome back, Capricorn. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Bronya, and I'm an intuitive tarot reader. Really looking forward to bringing you through this reading. Now, just keeping in mind that sometimes it can feel like your personal reading. And while that's super cool, it's not always the case. Sometimes just pieces will resonate. Sometimes none of it will. That's cool too. Just leave it for the next person. Okay, two cards have come out. We have New Moon in Pisces, Meditate and Contemplate, and Cardinal Moon, Be Bold and Make the First Move. Now, I am reading this Capricorn on the uh, lunar eclipse in Pisces, right? And eclipse energy is powerful. This is the first of three powerful eclipses across the next month. Um, eclipses can be life-changing, they can be fast, they can be very revealing. Okay, so maybe after meditating and contemplating and seeing the truth of the situation or, or tuning into how you really do feel, you are getting ready to be bold and make the first move. Now is that starting a business? Is that initiating a relocation? Is that sharing, you know, maybe your heart with somebody? It will be different for all of you, but let's keep going. Now, Capricorn, I'm using the Divine Initiation Oracle, and I have the Ethereal Alchemist Tarot here. I will link you to all of these beauties down below. Uh, there's just one link, and you can find what I the decks that I use. Okay, you've been told to trust the signs. This is the 1111 card. So are you seeing 1111? Are you getting signs? Uh, little synchronicities or, you know, like I said, seeing the angel numbers, finding feathers, um, you know, like number plates or songs that you come across, like really speaking to you. Um, this is your sign to be bold and make the first move, like quite simply, like maybe that's all you needed to get from this reading. But we will carry on Capricorn to the full tarot deck and... The Ten of Swords. Okay, well, look, you know what? Be bold and make the first move. This could actually be you initiating an ending, right? The Ten of Swords is associated with completion of a situation that's kind of got to the point that it's either not growing and flowing or it could even be causing you some, some pain or some burnout, right? So I think you've been meditating and contemplating on this for some time and now the energy is here to actually make the move and initiate completion. So this could be the, the toxic job, you know, this could be uh, the relationship that's not serving you or, you know, the place that's holding you back. It feels like it, there's a longer term energy to it with the Ten of Swords. But what I love about the Ten of Swords is it always talks about this being the initiation of the new dawn, the new day, the victory of the Ace of Swords that we see here at the front. Okay, so it's no uh, coincidence that this is happening around uh, the lunar eclipse. And the Seven of Cups here is the tricky energy to navigate because that can be the energy that goes, but what about all the good times? Or what about the good memories? You know, oh no, they've promised to change or they've promised the promotion or, you know, all of those things. Like the Seven of, of Cups is a smokescreen it is, it creates the confusion, it dangles the carrot. So when the Seven of Cups comes into a reading, I always say, look at the actual results, the actual facts, the actions, not the words, right? Because usually it talks about what we're hoping for, always being at an arm's reach, and then that goalpost always moving. So we have to be mindful where we might be buying into the fantasy or illusion that is uh, either we're creating or it's being created for us, right? Yeah, two of pentacles. It's time for a decision. Like it's crunch time here. And I think you've been meditating, contemplating, and you've been in the limbo for some time. But now is the time to make the move. Trust the signs and move forward. Yeah, gosh, seven of swords. So we've got seven of cups, seven of swords, ten of swords, which is a deception energy. And I think the, the, the things to be wary of with the Seven of Swords is that, one, you know, um, we can have someone who might be gaslighting or creating that false reality for us. But also the Seven of Swords can be where we are sabotaging ourselves by maybe seeing the best in the situation or, or trusting those words, etc. So we do have an undermining energy here or sort of a betrayal deception energy. So it is time to see with truth and maybe the eclipse is going to reveal some of that for you. I've got the universe, which is the world. 
the last major arcana that follows final judgment. This is major completion. In fact, it's the major com completion that has you pass a karmic test or spiritual lesson. So have you been around this situation a few times? It could be that you've had a series of jobs, relationships, all this energy showing up in different ways across your life areas, right? And, and the universe will do that. It will keep showing us the lesson until we actually acknowledge and pass it. Um, so that energy is there. For others of you, it could be a really long-term situation and you've turned that blind eye or because, you know, you, you see the best in people, you've, you've given this person or this employer the benefit of the doubt, but no more, right? Masks are off. And when you know better and based in that awareness, you can make the decisions to make powerful judgment calls and complete cycles so that your next one can open. And open it will, Knight of Wands. Uh, this really is the, I'm not looking back. I'm only fastly moving forward. Uh, Sagittarius energy. Um, I feel that by Sagittarius season, the end of November, so in a couple of months time, you are, you know, you're in your new reality, right? Because I think that's, there's still a bit of lead time here for you to make your plan or to line things up. But one thing about the Knight of Wands is it's a new messenger of opportunity. So, um, if you are needing to secure new work or housing or finance or whatever it might be so that you can actually make this move, this is your heads up to start the process to get your ducks in a row, okay? All the signs are there, but now we have to come back to earthly action and we have to come back to, to making that happen. So this is the time, trust the sign. Yeah, okay, here's judgment. We'll finish on that one because we have been told, you know, we've been told that the ending is looming, but we've got to pass through that final judgment, right? There is gonna be a massive liberation or emancipation energy on the other side of this. Um, it's time to make the judgment call. Like, this is the final call for this situation. You know, karmic balance wants to be restored and your guides are literally shouting at you, all right? So I think that those signs are going to increase and speed up. Trust them, be bold, make the first move and the rest is history, Capricorn. I'm going to leave it there. I do hope you enjoyed this little uh, tune-in. Um, if you'd like to follow up with a personal reading, first link down below will pop you over to my website. You can check out what I uh, offer there. Uh, I'll link you to my TikTok, Instagram, and other socials below. I'm very active and interactive with different daily content and more personal sharing over there. I have a free Learn Tarot Quick Guide uh, down below. There is also my two paid options to learn intuitive tarot with me. That is reading from the heart, the intuition, not the guidebook. You're currently seeing on screen the initiation um, preview. Uh, this is my signature course where I teach a full foundation in tarot and also my signature reading process, the mystic key, which will allow you to deliver readings that resonate every time. I also have an introductory um, online course as well. So I'll let you review that in your own time, Capricorn. I'm sending you love and magic. Bye for now.